Hey guys, it's Brenda Lee, and I am, for some reason, craving a michelada, and I wanted to make a video for you guys, just to show you how easy it is to make. Um, you can make these at home. You can really just buy the ingredients from the grocery store. Um, everything I have here is everything that you can buy at your um, really local grocery store that has pretty much everything, because the main ingredient that you do need is beer, and any kind of Mexican lager will do. I, however, chose um, my Dos Equis is my go-to. You can use um, basically any Mexican lager. Uh, some people like to use Modelo um, or Corona. This is my choice, but it's up to you, like I said. So you're gonna wanna have a good hot sauce, Worcestershire uh, tomato. This one is actually pre-made and it's a sweet and spicy, so it has clamato plus mango and chili. So that's good. I also have another clamato product. I should be sponsored by clamato. This one's, you probably can't see it because it's backwards. It's a chili lime salt, so this is gonna be really good for um, the rim of your glass. But this one's very important. Your garnishes or your garnishes, you can have them or not. I like to use them because of the presentation. Lime juice, I don't have actual limes, but you make do, right? So here we go. So of course we have our Clamato. This one is sweet and spicy. Frank's Red Hot. My beer of choice, which is a Dos Equis Lager. And some garnishes, since I'm out of limes. I guess I'll use lemons, still citrus. And some of the um, added ingredients to make my michelada complete. Oh, and of course, my beer glass. It's pretty big, and I'll do the trick. So here I have all of my ingredients spread out. The glass that I did choose is a huge glass. Here we go. It's pretty big, but the first thing you're going to want to do is salt the rim. So I kind of just added um, the lime juice and this little guy right here, and I did a pre-made little concoction. I don't know if you can see it. It looks kind of gross, but I did this just to make it easier. And you're going to want to rim it. So once you rim the glass, I'm going to put a little bit more of the chili lime salt on the rim. And this is stuff that I can go to town on, seriously guys, it's just so good. And it's not hot, it doesn't like peek out your mouth, but it has a nice little tangy salty flavor to it, so you for sure can lose the garnishes, but you need the chili lime salt. So I'm putting a hefty portion on here. Next you're going to want to put in the little ingredients. So here I bought Frank's Red Hot. This one I'm a little afraid of because it has serrano peppers. Actually no, cayenne. <laughs> For me pepper's a pepper. I'm not a hot person at all. I'm afraid of hot. Um, but with this type of drink you want a little kick. You don't just want beer and tomato. You have to have some sort of flavor to it on top of um, the citrus flavor that you add with the lime or the lemon that I have. So this one might kick me in the ass, but I don't care. Typically the recipe is going to ask you for um, two dashes. One, two, three. Uh, I put two-ish. If you're a hot crazy person who loves for your stomach to burn and for your heart to like go crazy with hot flavor, obviously you're going to want to add more for more of a kick for a hot michelada. Next is the Worcestershire. Say it with me, Worcestershire. I just got the basic Walmart brand. It's the same thing, but any steak loving person is gonna have this in their pantry, most likely. Um, the recipe calls for one dash of this. This one's kind of hard because it pours out, so it's kind of like a half pour. Half pour is good, but it's gonna give you that sweet tangy flavor to your drink. Next is the citrus, which you have with your lime. It's not fresh, still lime juice. It does the trick. Don't be too picky. Uh, with this one, I'm just gonna do kind of like a little squirt. Not too much. So as you see, you're kind of building your cocktail with um, the Worcestershire, the lime, and the um, hot sauce. If you can tell, I have 80s music in the background. I've been on an 80s kick. I have no idea why. It's just, it's nostalgic, I guess. 
Next is your beer. Um, so with this guy, you are going to only fill it halfway. Since I have a bigger glass, I'm gonna do a little bit, a little bit less than half. Don't forget to tilt because you don't want head, or some do, but preference again. Kind of have it right there. Not bad. I'll do a smidge more. You want to add room for the um, the Michelada mix, which is this guy. I like to shake it up a little bit. And for me, I, I'm not a big measuring um, crazy person when it comes to Michelada, so I'm just gonna top it off. Ooh, look at that! It turns into a nice tomato, dark red color. You see that right there? Yeah. And I don't like to waste, especially for a drink this good. So I'm going to kind of put a little bit more beer, not to the rim, but before it hits the rim. And then next you have your garnishes. This kind of just makes it pretty. So here we have our lime, I'm sorry, our wannabe lime, which is actually lemon, um, that I already pre-cut, pre-cut a few of them, but I'm gonna garnish with two. Uno, can you see it? Hopefully you can. Dos, and then what I'm gonna also add, you can really just add whatever you want as a garnish. Um, some people put celery, some people put olives, Others put brisket, or I have no idea what. I'm not about to go out and make a brisket, but I do have olives. And the thing I love about this drink is that it's really preference. I mean, if you want to put olives, if you like olives, which I do, I can eat a whole jar. Full disclosure, when I was in fifth grade and we had a field trip, I took a jar of olives. And everyone made fun of me, but at the end of the day, everybody was asking me for olives. Did I give them out? No. Don't make fun of me and ask me for olives. Hell no. And I'm gonna put this on the rim. Hopefully it stays. And there you go. Super easy. I mean, you should be making these every weekend, right? But there you go. Look how pretty. Love it. Let's try it. Mmm. So good. Anyway, super easy, like I said. So go ahead, make yourself a michelada. Cheers to you guys. Thank you for watching, and have a great rest of the day. Bye, guys. There's good and bad at making a drink video. The good is you're making a drink video. The bad is that you can't get it right on the first take. So you have a lot of leftover. <laughs> it's a whole picture of um, micheladas that I messed up while making this video. <sighs> so sadly, these are gonna have to go to waste. You know, down the drain. Yeah, <laughs> that's not going down the drain. I'm about to drink all this.